This week Hornby have just released the new Valenta HST pack and whenever something popular comes out with sound I tend to get a lot of inquiries about speakers so I thought to make it easy for people I'll do a quick video about how I upgrade the speakers in the new Valenta HST pack and um, so it's they've obviously done the HST for quite a while with sound but this has got the Valenta engines, the older engine sounds so um, it's a bit better for modelers of sort of previous eras, not just modern image this time. Uh, but something else they've done is they've released the MTU sounds as a twin pack. So if you've already got HST and you're just looking to put sound in it, they've already got the decoders now, so you can buy them separately. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you how to put Megabass speakers in them, and I think you'll be surprised what a difference it makes. So I've done a quick video of it without the Megabass speaker in as it came. But I'll show you that now, um, and then when you've had a look at that video, I'll talk about how to put the Megabass speakers in, and hopefully you'll see a big difference, and you'll see that it's quite a worthwhile upgrade. Right then, hopefully you could hear the models okay in that video and you'll probably agree that the sound quality is not great but there is some potential there. It definitely sounds like a Valenta engine but I think obviously it just needs a little bit more bass and a little bit more depth to the sound. So I've already taken the bodies off these two. Um, they just use four screws in each one so it's not difficult to take off. The newer type as well that have got the plug and socket for the lights rather than having the sprung contacts down here like the old ones had. So I've left the speakers in for the time being but I'm just going to show you where I'm going to put the new speakers. So the new speakers are these mega bass speakers which I sell on my website and I'll put a link in the description and I'll also put the um, website address below so you can see it. Um, the easiest way to put them in is actually to stick them to the inside of the roof. So you're just going to need to cut these bits off, cut the lugs off the side of them. So just use something like these cutters, but I suppose you could do it with pliers, um, a razor saw, whatever you've got really. But stick that inside right up to the ceiling as far as it'll go. Um, and just connect it with blue tack or black tack, ideally. I won't suggest using glue because you could end up getting it on the windows or something. Um, once that's in, it'll fit into this one easily because there's so much space once you've taken the original speaker out. A lot of people have said to me in the past that they couldn't get the body back on um, when they were doing it in the power car. But as long as you do it with the method I've just said where you stick it in the roof, you will be able to get the body back on. If you do it the other way, and some people have tried sticking the speaker down here like this, and then you'll find that because the angle you have to put the body back on so that it clears the front, you won't be able to get the body back down over the back of the speaker. But yeah, as long as you put the speaker in the body first and then put it back on afterwards, you shouldn't have any problems. 
So all you need to do is cut through the speaker wires somewhere or unsolder them from the original speaker and join the new speaker wires on. It doesn't really matter whether you use the red or the black because it, it doesn't make any difference but just go red to red and black to black so it's neat and make sure you insulate the connections otherwise you're going to have problems with well damaging the decoder if it's not properly insulated. So I'm going to go and do that now, I'm going to put these speakers in and then I'll do another video Hopefully you liked that and you could hear the improvement. I think it's definitely got a lot more bass and it's just a bigger sound than it was before. Not just louder but it just sounds more powerful and more like it should. Um, so I think for the cost of the upgrade which is about £20 for both of the speakers it's, it's well worth it and it'll definitely get the best out of it. And I suppose it's how the models should have been all along really. Um, but I guess I'll have to build the models to a cost. Before I finish the video, I'm just going to do a quick clip of these two running. Um, these are two cross-country Class 43s which belong to a customer of mine. Um, but I've just fitted them with the uh, uh, TTS standalone decoders that have just come out as well. So have a listen to that as well. And then you've heard the MTU as well. They're fitted with exactly the same speaker. Um, I think personally the Valenta sounds nicer. But if you're doing modern image modelling, chances are these are the decoders that you're going to be using. So it's nice to have both of them. But yeah, have a look at the uh, rest of the video. And then if you do want to upgrade the speakers on yours, just look at the link in the description. And you'll be able to see where to buy them from. And I can also fit them for you for quite a reasonable price. So just get in touch for a quote if you think you need some help with it. Thanks for watching.